Fire Force is back. Honestly, I miss this anime so much. It didn't feel like it went anywhere for real, for real. Like, it kind of feels like it ended just this past season. But anyway, before we get any deeper into this video, I want to say by the time this video is out, I've seen the first episode of the second season. Also, I'm an anime only, so no worries about manga spoilers. We're going to be talking just a little bit about Fire Force, but the end game is to create my own character and explain them a bit. I love Fire Force Season 1, great fights, interesting story. Story aside, David Productions animation on this is top notch, bro. As an artist, I can't let shit like this swing past me. Or shit like this. Oh my god, just beautiful. The power system is pretty good too, but I'll explain that a bit when we start drawing. So let's go ahead and start drawing my original character, JJ Smog. While I'm drawing him, I'm going to be explaining his backstory a bit. So, And then we'll get into the character details and the choices I made like that. Before JJ Smog was born, his grandfather became an inferno while his parents weren't home and burned down their neighborhood. Since human combustion was a new thing for the United States, they blamed their family, meaning the neighborhood, for the damages and ended up having to help pay for them, which put them in a hole financially. His parents were more worried now, however, that their newborn child, JJ, would be born into this world and turned infernal. Luckily, he did not, and instead became a third generation, which meant he could create fire from his oxygen. This relieved his parents and they looked at him as a gift from God. Normally, when someone is human combusting, you see fire coming from their mouth, but he was actually blowing fire. When he was five, he accidentally sneezed into his elbow, which left a mark on his arm. His parents were still down bad, and after learning about what happened years later, he decided to apply for school in Japan to become a Fire Force soldier. That way he can make money for his family so they won't be so poor anymore. He moves his family out, he joins Company 8, and his main goal is to provide for his family. He wants them to have more money than they know what to do with, and gives them riches since they treated him so beautifully regardless of his generational powers. So let's talk about his character design. So right now you see me drawing him in his uniform off duty and on duty. I created his character to be more like he's always comfortable. You know, he was raised by a beautiful family. And so his he seems to be more relaxed a lot of the times, which is why he wears his uh, off duty uniform around his shoulders, because that's how he, f he feels comfortable like that. I almost made it also like. The uniform is embracing him, like kind of like arms wrapped in around his shoulders, considering he was given so much love by his parents, you know, that tender care. He likes to feel like he's being, you know, um, he likes to feel like he's being held. So that's why I kind of gave him that. He's also a pretty relaxed, kind of chill kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? He, he can get abrasive, which comes with his fire breathing nature. But other than that, he's laid back. Like he doesn't, he's... He really keeps to himself. He doesn't really start any drama with people or anything like that. Um, and so that's why I kind of got him with his hands in his pocket. His uh, his uniform is kind of slouched on him. And he's wearing a gold chain and stuff like that. Uh, for his on-duty uniform, one of the sleeves is shorter than the other because of the burn mark. He actually likes to, he likes to show off that burn mark because he doesn't see it as something that was a problem. For him basically um, normally when people have marks they're kind of ashamed of them and stuff like that but since his parents were so um, embracing of him having you know powers and stuff like that he decides to like you know show it off when he's on duty that way it's a reminder of what he's you know out here doing and stuff like that and you can see the scar on his arm right there um, as far as the jewelry goes so I based his character around the dragon smog from the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings series and you know how small he was surrounded by all those treasures and stuff like that. So that's kind of where I got that idea from. Uh, I gave him these like jewelry bands for his locks in the front. Um, the locks in the front are kind of like dragon horns. Except, you know, it's hair. So they're not going to stick straight up. Um, he has uh, teeth, like sharp teeth. And of course, he breathes fire like a dragon. The, reach, the riches and stuff that he wants for his family is kind of just a reference to how much how much jewelry was around the dragon and the hobbit and the uh lord of the Rings series stuff like that his color scheme is based around smog you know smog is kind of a reddish uh character he was kind of a reddish dragon and so i gave him red hair his skin is kind of like that rusty uh red kind of 
And his eyes are green. Honestly, I just wanted him to have emerald green eyes. Like, a lot of dragons just have green eyes. So, I just wanted to do that for him. And his pupils are, like, slits. Kind of like dragons, too. So, that's what I did there. He also has earrings. And, you know, he got the chain around his neck, you know. He's a, he's a cool guy. He doesn't really flex his money. He doesn't, or he doesn't, he doesn't have money. He doesn't really flex his jewelry. It's just something that he has around him to remind him of what he wants to give his family. So, yeah. Now, how did this drawing go? Honestly, and I swear to y'all, I say this every time I do a drawing. This is my favorite drawing right now. I, I'm not going to lie. I spent two weeks on these drawings. Like, I've spent... And not just the drawing portion, but coming up with the character, coming up with the backstory, thinking of the designs and stuff like that. I spent the past two weeks working on this. And so I'm really excited to share this with y'all because I took a lot of time into this. And I think it came out pretty good. I gave him character sheets for his on and off duty uniform. I gave him this nice little close up profile picture. And now you can see on screen, I'm working on this dynamic pose that I came up with. Not... That came up with but i found a pose reference that i thought would be suitable for when he's breathing his fire because you know in fire force you use oxygen like you exert your oxygen from your body when you are um performing your generational powers and since he's a third generation it's coming directly off him and so if you breathe through your mouth and your nose and you're a fire breather you're gonna be using up a lot of your oxygen probably that's just how i that's just my guess like I said, I don't read the manga, so I don't even know if there's somebody who breathes fire in the manga. There might be. I'm not sure. Just like with the Demon Slayer uh, design I did, I don't read the manga, so I'm just going off of something that came up off my head using, you know, some of the research that we got from the anime and stuff like that. But I would assume it would take a lot of oxygen from you since you breathe through your mouth. And he actually pushes... So, like, the, the fire doesn't come from his lungs. He... It comes off of his tongue, and he's able to blow it out, you know what I'm saying? Since being a Fire Force soldier or being having generational powers, your physical capabilities are enhanced, which means he can breathe out stronger. So he ignites the fire from his tongue and then pushes it out of his mouth like that. Now, combat-wise, I'm not sure the, the possibilities it can go. Maybe he can use the fire to push himself around. It would kind of look awkward, like pushing yourself around from the mouth and stuff like that. But, um, he could also, like, you know how Bakugo can shoot, like, AP shots now? Like, he can shoot concentrated shots. He could probably do something like that where he shoots, like, a beam. Like, he learns to shoot, like, multiple, like, fireballs at once. That way, you know, he's not completely useless in battle. Because, I mean, ha like, it's just kind of hard for me to see him destroying, you know, Infernals with a fire breath. But, you know, he has this power now. Why would he just sit around and do nothing? You know what I'm saying? He just it, he just so happens to breathe fire. That's pretty much it. I love the way the fire turned out. How the uh, his colors look. His colors actually mesh really well with the Fire Force style. And so that made me pretty happy that that came out good. I got a pretty good when it comes to uh, base lighting. So wherever the fire is, is where my light source is. And so I added these dynamic lighting areas. Um... And I added some dynamic lighting coming off of the blue parts of their uniform, which seem to glow in the nighttime. I don't know if anybody's noticed that, but they actually do give off light, uh, which is reference to the reflective like lights, the reflective nylon material that be on fire firefighters uniforms and stuff like that. So that's also pretty cool. So I had some dynamic lighting coming off of that as well. For the dynamic pose, though, I love how his hair is just, like, flailing. Like, you can you can just tell there's so much power coming from the fire that he's breathing. Um, also, the tank on his back is, like, an oxygen tank that, he, you know, he can, like... Because, like I said, I figured he would use a lot of oxygen when he's using his fire breath. So, I, he keeps, like, this oxygen tank on him that he can, you know, inhale in case he's, like, low on breath. You know, he's, like, panting and stuff like that. I would imagine it would cause a lot of breathing problems for him. So, yeah. Also added that nice red and white background that you normally see in the aesthetic of the volume covers. Um, so, yeah. Overall, I think this was just a, a good turnout, honestly. The profile looks good. The dynamic pose looks good. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. I hope you guys like this. This is pretty fun. I'm going to do this for another anime 
pretty soon the next one i'm not gonna tell you it's gonna be surprised but wait i'm not done yet okay so i wanted to do one more design and i wanted to do something for my patrons so all my patrons on patreon you guys will be able to download this image you guys will be able to download all these images but this one specifically is for you i made a wallpaper a phone wallpaper for jj small right so i did this kind of dynamic pose where he's like blowing in the air you know how um there's some people who like like blow breathe fire like in real life like they take the 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 gasoline stuff and they blow it into the air yeah so i i just kind of got a reference from that and i turned it into this like dynamic really dynamic wallpaper you know what i'm saying like i said jj smog is pretty abrasive when it comes to using his power because it's something that he was gifted with and he wants to use this to uh give his family you know riches and so he finds joy in it he doesn't see it as a curse he doesn't see it as anything else because his family raised him to look at this power like it's a blessing and so he's pretty celebratory with it so here it is you guys will be able to download to my patrons you guys will be able to download this nice high definition put it as your background wallpaper if you want to or don't it's whatever y'all can do whatever y'all want with this i don't care thank y'all so much for the support this is a pretty long video compared to my last few videos but i pretty much enjoyed it i hope you guys did too please like subscribe and share if you don't mind and this is a window i'm about to jump out of it <laughs>